Hello everyone and welcome back to my neck of the woods. I'm Morning Day U and we're here with uh, Metroid Fusion. So yeah, last episode, nightmare, lots of pain and suffering, lots of deaths as well. More deaths than the entire rest of the series. So, uh, most of this should be clean up. And of course I say that and then it's going to be... It's going to mostly be uh, fighting and not really clean up of any items. Yep, there's a hidden entrance here, so we don't actually need the screw attack to get these uh, power bombs. Okay, let us see what else we have. Oh, goody, we have another power bomb and the rest of this area to explore. Nothing quite like a nice undersea explorer. Uh, yeah, undersea explorer. I was gonna say exploration, but eh. Oh well, that that seems locked to us. Uh, how about we take the scenic route? Anybody remember Super Metroid with that one tunnel? Yeah, we even have a callback enemy here. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on a moment. Let's so double check. Yeah, we went the wrong way. Just shoot them in the stomach and they're gone. There we are. And of course, it's going to be a missile. That's often what it is. Power bomb tanks acquired. It isn't like power bombs. They're awesome. They take care of enemies for you. Also, tell you all the secrets. But yeah, uh, that door, it won't open for us, so... Uh, as I said, we're taking the scenic route. Power bomb? Nope. Regular bomb. I'm getting very used to just using two missiles. And uh, one thing I didn't try. Yeah, you have no ability to turn off any powers you have at this point. So if something would be made easier by having something turned off, well, <laughs> good luck with that. Oh. Hold on. This ledge seems interesting. Give it a second. Oh. In a passageway because we saw our beam go through. Just around, down, and... You know what? Let's just clear this entire area out. There we are. This is an interesting dilemma. The door is closed, and we kind of need that open. So, if you want to know what you do here, uh, it's another situation where you can't defeat all the enemies. And in this case, uh... Yeah, I think it's just a case of you gotta lay the power bomb and let them go free, because then they make the golden ones. Okay. There we are. And now you can see, the door opens magically. Well. Oh. 
Yeah, that seemed a bit too, uh, much. So just very simply go through the puzzle that way. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes power bombs are just too good. And now we have an interesting, uh, little, uh, secret that's going to make Adam pretty furious. So I went this way to grab a power bomb. But you see that little room just situated off and down here? You see how we can't seem to enter it? Well, if I'm correct, uh, the way we enter that is through a little room around here. Yeah. We had vents that uh, didn't quite open. Or didn't quite do much. And this is straight up a maze. Prepare for the fun agony of this. Okay, I think it's down this way. And then we have, yep, secret passage. Right here. Another secret passage right here. We have our way in. Oh, what's this? The red security room, thus allowing us access to everywhere. How, am how amusing. So yeah, Adam's going to be pretty furious with us. Because he didn't tell us to unlock this. We we did that ourselves. But this also means we have free unrestricted access everywhere. Literally everywhere, aside from very specific doors. Oh. Uh, I, I swear I used to be really good at, uh, utilizing those jumps. So yeah, now we're on our way to this path. Which, if I'm correct, is blocked by a red door. Whoop. You were meant to explode. Give me essence. Search delectableness. Uh, this looks interesting. Nope, power bomb it. There we go. Whoop. Haha, <laughs> missile tank. Okay. I line it up just perfectly. Ah, oh, I missed that one. There we go. So yeah, that was supposed to be like a room that was difficult. Not really. I mean, I only lost a tiny bit of health. Yep. So, if I'm correct, we can explore the whole of Aqua, or at least most of it. Yeah, I'm just looking back and forth very quickly. There's one little seg... Well, actually, there's a couple little segments where uh, we could very easily... Whoop. Come on, you. I like how these things look. They're adorable. Nope, gotta get them in their soft underbellies. But yeah, there's a red door that would have barred our passage. So technically, we could have grabbed that missile tank uh, before opening the red doors. But hey, we don't really need that. We don't really need to worry about what we could and couldn't have gotten. Uh, Yeah, no, nothing's here. Besides those two enemies, which we can't get at uh, without using a power bomb. Oh, what's that? A very special enemy that puffs up when we get close to it. Well, 
That's no good. Drop a power bomb because I really don't have time to search. Uh, here's a save room. Just going to mark that off. Hella diagonal for a second. Huh. Well, that thing's impassable. And this, we are actually far enough away and are able to shoot. So, we can actually get past it. But it's a one-way trek, sadly. And yeah, this room, we can't actually do anything in here. But thankfully, there's a, uh... There's something we can grab here. Not actually sure how we get past that. Well, when in doubt, use a power bomb. Nope, immune to power bombs as well. Hmm. That's a really weird way of doing this, but okay. So. Nope. Yeah, we gotta do another diagonal shine spark. Ah. Uh. Damn it, I wasn't fast enough with hitting. Okay, I have to do this like this then. Okay, farther away, they get that bit of leeway. No! Damn you! Yeah, I have to very quickly deal with that by just running into it with the shine spark that I'm trying to get off. Uh, because you can destroy uh, the towers, which are called Yagos, by using a shine spark, apparently. I never knew this. I can't remember how I normally do this. Okay. Damn you to hell. Okay. This takes too long, I'm just... I thought I hit the uh, max speed sooner. And I forgot I had smug morning up the entire time. Come on. Oh, so close. You are a pixel away from death. Yeah, if this takes too long, I'm I'm just going to either cut out or fast forward most of it. Oh, you damn idiot. Okay. I know what I need to do. I need to back up a bit because I need a diagonal shine spark. Okay. Actually, I think I do remember doing this. Oh. 
Ah! If you aren't fast enough to press down, you just smack into a wall and you lose your shine spark. If you're too fast, you leave the little crab alive. I curse. Whoever designed this. Also, I think I remember the specifics for doing a diagonal spark. I think you can also do one by holding a holding down uh left bumper or whatever you have to just aim diagonally besides inputting into the controller. Ah, uh, please stop with this. I'm I'm wasting time here. And not the good kind of wasting time where it's fun. The bad kind where it just kind of feels like I should be doing something else. Nope, too soon. Also, I hit diagonally instead of just down. Ah. Uh. Far back. It's very hard to tell when you're going through multiple rooms. No, oh, I was too far. And yes, it does work that way. Okay. Yep, there we go. Shine spark all the way to victory. Oh yeah, that's there. I'm sorry, but uh, could you not? I'd much rather you, uh, didn't. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, that. Okay. Remembering your momentum as you go through multiple rooms is one thing. Actually, I remember how I'm supposed to do this. I also remember I never did a diagonal shine spark in uh, the room where I did a diagonal shine spark. When I originally went through this, uh, I jumped and did a horizontal shine spark. Up we go, and yep, that's how you do that. Okay, that was actually mildly interesting. Now, we have something very specific we need to grab. And, yeah, we should be good to just drop down, go through here. And we're quickly headed up. Eh. Good enough. Not dealing with this. And one of you had a red in you, so thanks for the full uh, top up. And yeah, that's a red door right there. Up, oh, it looks like we're trapped because we know we can't get by those things. But what's this? A data room left intact? And a lot of stuff we haven't gone to yet? Well, why not uh, uh, just take advantage of this? Diffusion added to missile charge with R. Fire with B. So now we have charged missiles. And we can very easily shut that down. But now for how these work. Who wanted range on their missiles? Like, who wanted some super bomb with their missile? <laughs> kind of range. And if I'm correct, 
charging up may also increase power. I just lay that down there. There we are. Ain't this nice? Okay, that's that done. And yeah, now we can properly get... Yeah, everything here. And if I'm correct, we... We don't talk to Adam for a while. So I think we're actually safe with scolding. Not gonna happen. Or at least not too soon. Ah. Whoop. Just do that. Why not? So you remember this? If I'm correct, we needed a power bomb here. Yep. And we got a new uh, upgrade. Yep. Nope, not dealing with this. Plus we have power bombs galore. Okay. I know exactly where we need to go next. We can go one of two ways right now. And I would not mind going a very specific way. No, that's the entrance here. And we shouldn't talk to Adam yet. Oh yeah, be warned, that does have a limited range on its area of effect, much like how the power bombs do. So, don't be expected to, uh, get away with using that scot-free. And yeah, I'm not sure why I decided to use a diffusion missile there. Or why I decided to go that path. Uh... Place a power bomb here. And. Well, now I'm sad because we have to go talk to Adam then. Unless. No, we don't. Unless that's through that. Okay. This is me trying to go through this in a way that probably was never intended. So, let's head down here. Oh, yep. Oh. Uh. Nope. Yep. That works off screen. That's the thing I always forget. Okay, that's weird. Okay, who's ready for another diagonal shine spark attempt? Because seriously, I want to... I want to try doing this in the stupidest way possible. And I forgot... My own worst enemy is myself. There we go. Also, now we can backtrack properly through this. Essentially, aside from shines, uh, not shine spark blocks. Uh, uh, the hardest part is stopping when you need to. Good enough. Okay, through here, down through here, into here, and then... Ah!
Why did I just say the mild infuriation that I am feeling right now? Weighs heavily on me. No, you don't. I just realized something really stupid I could do. Ah, game. There it is. When in doubt, just keep blasting. Haha. -ha. Area 4 to Area 6. We're knocked now. So if I'm correct, there isn't really a point to this. Yeah, there isn't really a point to this. I did something really, really stupid. I just wanted to show you guys that you could get that way. So, yeah, no. We, we're meant to talk to Adam. So, kind of drew this out a bit. Just to show you something a bit interesting. Bada boom! Also, yes, the diffusion missiles do open doors from a far away range. So, technically, if you were to use them for certain things, they would... They would be useful. Mostly, they're only really useful for... Uh, the intended purpose. So, uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Diffusion missiles kind of suck. They're only used as an exploration tool rather than a combat implement. Oh. Anyway, thank you all for coming down to my neck of the woods. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this episode of Metroid Fusion. Uh, have a great rest of the day slash night. I'll see you in the next part and goodbye.